So this morning I've brought the seeds out for their first big day outside to see if they can cope with the wind. So fingers crossed they're going to be fine. Um, but I'll show you a couple of things. I've got these other French beans and they've grown so quickly. I don't know why, but the egg boxes seem to be working really well. The basil bush and parsley, tomatoes in the back. Those are aubergine plants, those three. Those are nasturtiums. One of the squash has come up, which is really cool. It's got beautiful leaves. A couple of beetroots, all the different cabbages and onions and then a couple of radishes over there some tomatoes growing here and yeah and hopefully they all enjoy their day out in the beautiful sun i just uh, finished work and come down to the allotment just gonna sit here and have a little bit of lunch and then Gonna get started on mulching some more of the plots. Might pick some spring onions and some Swiss chard because it looks like there's loads. And yeah, I'll film some clips for you and so you can have a little look. Made a sandwich today with hummus that I made, homemade kimchi, pea shoots that I grew, foraged wild garlic, and mushrooms on like a lovely seedy seedy bread. And I've got some carrots and some olives with that. Yummy! I wear um, barefoot shoes and I wear these ones to work. These are like a kind of work shoe and I've just brought my um, oh, my barefoot sandals with me for the allotment because I just feel like I prefer to be in these. I don't know, so I brought these with me. I'd like to be barefoot but there's wood chips everywhere and I feel like that's recipe for disaster. been tidying up um, a strawberry patch just getting rid of like any of the dead leaves I'll show you what I've done so just like around these strawberries just taking away like any like super dead bits I'm just getting rid of those so that the strawberries have more space so it'll be nice there's already some little flowers like creeping up so hopefully we get some strawberries which would be so fun this allotment is so cool because there's just edible weeds everywhere like dandelions and white dead nettle and yeah it's really nice just to see like so much wildlife everywhere and I don't really want to get rid of any of it because you know it's no less valuable to me than a vegetable because I can eat them or use them in herbal medicine or I can um, dry them out there's so many possibilities so that's really lovely there is two lovely compost bins, so any kind of waste that I find, I'll just pop it all in there and allow it to turn into compost. These are some decaying rhubarb leaves. Kind of amazing though, isn't it? Look at all that. I've just spotted um, some PSB, which looks like it might actually grow. So that's really exciting. Of those melty bits. That would be very cool as maybe I must have planted this last year. So through here is the area that no one has planted on yet. I've mulched it all last week and then I'm gonna get some compost, cover it all over and then I can start planting on there. That's just gonna be like my little space that I can start afresh. I'm already starting to see bumblebees and um, butterflies today so that's a really good sign means that there's lots of nature happening. I'll do a little what I brought with me. So that was the bag that had my shoes. I've got my sunglasses and my truck. I've got my husky cup, my lunch. And then, what else did I bring? Oh, I've got my water bottle. Um, I should have, maybe it's in here. My little knife. Yes, my knife. It's amazing. Ben bought it for me for my birthday. It's a pen knife and it's got everything on it. And for my outfit, I'm wearing these linen pop pants, hemp mask, a hat, and a uh, swimming cushion from Arquette, which I bought because I'm going to go swimming after this. <laughs> 
I have had a lovely day here at the allotment. I've done a little bit of work, um, not too much. I'm pretty tired and I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself to do loads every time I come. I think little and often is really good. And then I'm gonna go for a swim now, which is gonna be so good. Uh, I'm so hot. And then go home, I think, make a lovely dinner, maybe with the, some of the Swiss chard and some of the spring onions that I've cooked. Maybe do some compote with the rhubarb, we'll see. And yeah, go and spend a little bit more time in the garden, sit in the sun, read a book. Mm-mm, all good things. This sky is so beautiful, look at the sun's coming through. Just had a delightful rainy um, allotment time. I've done loads of stuff and I'm feeling very accomplished. Loads of plots are ready for me to plot on. <laughs> so I'm so happy. I'm going to end this video here. I hope that you enjoyed watching a couple more days of me planting and hanging out. And if you could like and subscribe and comment, that would be better.